Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today's video is about five fragrances in my collection that did not cost very much money. Um, that idea of fragrance pricing seems to resurface every now and then on social media where people in the fragrance community and outside of it um, feel like a lot of perfumes are overpriced. I actually used to know someone that was a chemist and he always used to tell me that the perfume oil itself costs so much money but they just need such a tiny amount of it in any fragrance that um, what you're paying for is marketing and the design and a whole bunch of other things and not necessarily for the juice that's in the bottle but I think that applies to almost everything right like from clothing to makeup to cars you know like how you determine how much something is worth to you is just so subjective um, but these are all five fragrances that didn't cost a lot of money and they still smell really good and some of them are classics and they've been around forever because they smell so good. So let's get into it. Uh, my first one I've mentioned before, I think I mentioned this in my Father's Day video a while ago. This is Grey Flannel by Jeffrey Bean. I got this for $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. It was kind of on that discount wall that every store has. If your store doesn't have a bottle of this, go to a different one because all the stores carry different selections of what's on sale. Um, I think they just get like a random delivery. So sometimes Jeffrey Bean is on there, sometimes it's not. $20, this is a very 70s style galbanum green fragrance. I've sprayed this for a few friends of mine and they don't like it because they feel like it reminds them of their dads in the 70s. Thankfully, I don't have any associations, positive or negative, with it. Doesn't remind me of anybody I know or used to know, so I can just enjoy it. Um, but like I said, it is a very 70s style scent. Like it does kind of remind you of Irish Spring or um, like a men's deodorant, but it has galbanum, galbanum as kind of the main note. But $20, great scent. I would even say it's great for gifting if you know someone that likes those two things and very, very wearable, especially in the summer or whenever you want something that's kind of green. So that's one. The other one I have that I also got for $20, I ordered this online and this is Katy Perry Indie. This is said to be a um, not a knockoff, but kind of uh, reminds people of Santal 33 from Lilabo. So if you're a fan of woody scents, then this is in that same vein. I've worn them side by side. I wouldn't say that this smells exactly like Santal 33. I can always tell what Santal 33 smells like. That one's very strong too, and it really has a lot of sillage and projection. This is an eau de toilette, and it's not strong at all. So. Um, Santal 33 I kind of wear one spray this I can wear like four sprays because it's just not that potent but it has a woody uh, feeling to it and then it has a musky like a clean musk dry down again very different from Lalabo but uh, the the dry down really reminds me of Tom Por Tom Ford Champaka so you're getting a very niche, very high-end smelling perfume that didn't cost a lot of money. Like I said, my bottle was $20. I bought it online. You can get 50 ml for about $30 and you can get 100 ml for about $50. So it's quite well priced if you can find it. You can see the bottle's glass. The stopper is plastic, but it's quite tight. There's nothing wrong with the packaging or the juice inside. This is a really, really nice fragrance, very wearable um, and affordable, really affordable. So I like that one a lot. Check that out. Another one, I think I got this in May of this year, May or June. This is Madame Rocha Eau de Toilette. You can see it's a huge bottle. This is a 100 ml. I believe I paid about $35 for this, but people in the States have gotten this from the Vermont General Store for about $7. So you can find it. It is quite affordable. If you are brave, you can probably get it for less than $35 
in a swap, like if you go to any of those message boards, maybe Reddit or Fragrantica, um, you can probably find it for cheap because someone's bought it and didn't like it. This smells kind of like baby powder. It's a very powdery, clean scent. Again, beautiful in the summer or beautiful if you just like to wear powdery perfumes, but it's beautiful, easy to wear. Um, it's an eau de toilette, but it's still pretty strong, I would say, so I can maybe wear two sprays of this, but beautiful, affordable scent, and not very difficult to find. I think this is very, very slept on, but I enjoy it quite a bit. So if you really liked, um, I'm trying to think of something that's powdery, but I can't right now. Anything that's, oh, if you like Prada Iris, try this instead, because this is way cheaper. There you go. Okay. Another one from the drugstore, Yardley London. This, I believe, is $20 or $30. I have a 50 ml bottle. Um, Yardley London does solely floors, so their eau de toilettes are with one floral note. This one is rose. They have lily of the valley. They also have lavender, which makes a great linen spray. I really like that also. Um, this one, the rose, is a fruity not a fruity, a little bit of a sweeter rose, I would say. So it's not as earthy or as dry as rose can sometimes be. It really is more of a sweet, fresh rose. Very wearable. Like, you can see how much I've worn it. You can spray this on to refresh yourself. If you like the Erin kind of roses, this is a good, cheaper alternative. I feel like I still prefer the Erin because it's a little bit greener and this is not as green, but this is lovely. Like it's, it's, it's nice and you can get this at the drugstore. So that's in my collection. Lastly, Roger and Gallet. This is an Extrada Cologne and I have Vervine, Vervine Utopi. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is a green fragrance. It is a citrus vetiver. So it smells kind of like a lemonade. It's got bergamot in the opening, and I would say it's like lemonade for the air. Like it's that refreshing. Um, and then when it dries down, it's just so green and beautiful. And really enjoy this. Again, I use this as a linen spray quite a bit in the summertime, and I enjoy it. This is about $50. I know I've seen this in stores. You can find this at the Bay, but you can also find it online, and I think it's sometimes a little bit cheaper online. If you are interested in herbal or botanical kind of blends, Roger and Gallet is a brand that really um, does that. Like even their rhubarb, or um, their citruses, they all still smell kind of botanical and lovely. So if you like that style of fragrance, they're a great one to check out. This is my favorite just because it has vetiver in it and I adore vetiver. So all of those are really, really, really affordable, I think. And um, the other thing I do when I'm looking for a deal is sometimes I buy travel sprays because I want to see if I'm actually going to be able to wear the fragrance. Um, so a 10 ml or a 12 ml is a great way to see if it really works with me that much. And then if I finish it, I can always get a larger bottle. The other thing I've done is I've bought fragrance off of eBay. So if you're interested in finding a deal, look for people that are selling partial bottles or used bottles because they've bought something and then it hasn't worked for them or they've gotten sick of it. That is also a great way to save money on fragrance. When I look for stuff on eBay, I definitely don't look for the big brands. I don't look for Chanel. I wouldn't look for, you know, um, Lolabo or even Byredo really. Like I would be careful about what I'm looking for. But if you're looking for stuff that's under the radar, I think it's really possible to find something on eBay or even set an alert so that you get notified when it's available and then you can see if you want it. But buying used is often a great way to get a bottle of fragrance because, you know, you're not paying the full retail price. And then the other option is to, again, look at those message boards like 
Fragrant Fragrantica or um, Reddit or uh, Base Notes. And there's often people that want to swap fragrance or they want to just sell bottles. Or there's people that want to do scent or scent splits where they're buying a bottle and then they're splitting it up any number of ways. So you get a good amount of the juice without paying for the full bottle. And if you don't think you're ever gonna wear 100 ml of something, but you wanna pay 100 ml prices, that's another great option. So lots of ways to get affordable fragrance and to smell good. Um, and I think that's it for now. If you have something that you found that is very affordable, I would love to hear about it. And keep checking that discount wall because there's often really good buys there for $20. And I know I always take a peek to see what's there. And I blacked out a few times. Thanks for watching. Bye.